Hey everybody, how we doing today? So a couple things going on. One, I want to do my weekly lobster report. So I'm just going to check a couple of spots and maybe take one or two for dinner. Uh, second, I'm going to be introducing a new toy. And that's what we're going to play with a little bit today. But uh, I forgot my second GoPro that I mount on the net. But you guys get the picture. I swim down, I scoop up a lobster, throw them in the ice chest, all done. So I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll get on to some other stuff. All right, I'm still getting them. So that's a nice legal size one here. So I think I'll get one more and we'll get to play time. All right, got even a better one. It's almost half an inch oversized. So yeah, dinner's done. All right, I've got dinner, a couple of lobsters in the coolers there. Uh, so stopping over, get to play with my new toy here. Uh, this was gifted to me from uh, Bonefish Chuck. Just picked it up today. Uh, apparently he was a little offended by me uh, casting over his fly line with my bonefish jig and catching all his bonefish. So he bought me this uh, eight weight. Um, it's a TFO. It's a package deal. So you get the, it's a nine foot rod, four piece. Uh, you get the matching eight weight reel, uh, backing, fly line and leader. But uh, right away we went ahead and uh, cut off the uh, fly line and he had a Cortland tropical line with more of a shooting head. So I switched that out. Uh, pretty cool. It's got it uh, tapers from the yellow to a clear at the shooting head. So that's pretty neat. And then I built a quick uh, three piece uh, leader just for get out here today and practice. Uh, I could throw a trout rod, I could throw a tarpon rod, but that middle range uh, finesse uh, fly fishing, I really don't do very much. So I'm gonna be practicing with this quite a bit. Uh, came out here, it's windy as crap, but in this little pocket cove, I know it would be uh, kind of calm. So I could play around a little bit, maybe hook up stuff here and there. Uh, but otherwise you'll see this a lot. And this also work out perfect for uh, hitting the white street pier at nighttime for tarpon. Uh, since it was kind of overkill with my 12 weight, but this will be just about right. And then I'm sure you'll see us using this on uh, Chuck's flat, uh, flats boat uh, as soon as this wind ever stops. But anyways, that's what I'm gonna play with this afternoon. Then uh, head back and uh, do something greasy with these lobsters. Now my kayak is pretty much set up for fly fishing. So, uh, cause I have it set up when I use my tarp and stuff, but the fly rod just fits in the holder, no problem. I've got my nice uh, fly fishing blanket, so I just kind of cover it and it makes a nice little pocket there and covers all the uh, snaggable areas. So yeah, I'm going to take a look. Got some deep cuts, current raging pretty good, so stuff will come along this edge, stuff will come along this flat, and because we're right along the edge there, stuff will come up and then go back down, so we'll see what we can do here. <laughs> First cast. Of course, it's the uh, good old fly killer. Senior Cooters. Don't destroy my fly, don't destroy my fly, don't take my fly. Relax on the blanket. Just relax. There you go. We're catching fish already. Stop. Bam. Fooled by the fly. We've got fish on. Another one. What we got now? Snappers. All right. Two casts, two species. into my fish basket. There we go. I love that little minor fly. It's not gonna last very long though. It's a fish catching machine. <laughs> All right, in there, in the sink. Look at me, I'm a little shrimpy. Come and don't eat me. Oh, missed them. Commit. Oh, they want it. 
Who's gonna take it? There he goes. <laughs> Just like that. Trophies. Oops, come on. Get into my basket. Bam, they're growing, getting bigger. All right, I'm time to uh, up the ante a bit here. Let's find some bigger fish. Got a little bit of a out of the wind spot here. I think those are mullet. I think I think. We're just gonna stake out here and just keep an eye out and see if I see any tailing action. Yeah, looks like those are mullet. And I don't think I'm going to catch any mullet. <laughs> They're just stuck in that little hole there. Watch, I'll scare them. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> see if I can snag one. Oh, I had one. Bumped them. And, whoa, not bad, whatever it is. Blind casting in this hole. What are you? Wow. Hey, never caught one of these before like this. I'd love to say it's my permit, but not quite. Almost as good as a permit. I've got more permit than I have these things. Mohara. That is awesome. And that's a good one too. Wow, look at that boy. On the fly. Bam. Just a fatter permit. <laughs> Pretty, look at it. Purple, green, blues, silver. Got the big eyes, so they're smart. I tricked you, buddy. So, got my two buddies ready to go for dinner. Um, Lobster-wise, I think, uh, I'm definitely probably going to be good through October. Um, I didn't hit very much. I hit one spot to get these guys, but there were still quite a few legals in there. And then surprisingly, there's uh, quite a few uh, juveniles in there. So like these are probably the teenagers I left uh, throughout the early part of the season, and they've grown up and are now quarter to a half inch above legal size. So definitely looking good for possibly November lobster. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean those up. You guys know what that looks like. And then uh, do something greasy. Okay, the first thing we did is we uh, butterflied the lobster open. Kind of get it to an even plane there. Nice somewhat circle of meat. Now time to get greasy. Okay, time for our first wrap. Got some bacon there. Got our lobster patty going in the center. Go over once, go over twice, Let's see, and then this one, then th this one, then this one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, yeah. Bam! Okay, I went ahead and foil packed that because I don't want to lose any of my good grease. 
gonna soak that baby there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the BBQ and uh, get ready for next up. All right, we're gonna throw this guy on some high heat, get it crisped up real quick, and pull it off. All right, let's add our second layer of grease here. Nice fat burger there. Now that the uh, bacon lobster patty is formed, I took it out of the foil and then we're just going to do a quick sear. Alright, everything's flaming nicely so I'm going to go ahead and toast these buns while we're waiting. And those are close, or that's close. That's got a little bit of time to go. Alright, time to pull these guys off. Hang out with your little brother there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cheese it up a bit here. And we're just gonna let that kind of settle, get all the juices to kind of relax themselves, and then time to start building. Okay, let's build our masterpiece. All I'm adding is mayo. That'll be about all the additives there I'm not sure what's proper etiquette but I'm gonna go burger bottom bacon wrap lobster second layer two wedges of tomato And our bun. Bam! Dinner's ready. I'm gonna chow down on this, and I think, I think I'm gonna take my new fly rod and hit the White Street Pier and try to catch a tarpon. Never know unless you try. Okay, we're over here at the White Street Pier. It's about midnight. Brought the uh, fishing bike, and it's all rigged up with the fly rod. One of my last year's projects. I think it was last year, but uh, we're gonna see if we could uh, catch a tarpon on a fly. <laughs> 